And to show you all those different report types, I'm gonna open up Sharpshooter Sample Center. And uh, Sample Center is a WinForms application which ships together with Sharpshooter and it has this impressive list of over 70 different examples uh, describing different aspects of Sharpshooter and uh, I'm gonna use this one extensively over this session. And the reason why I'm gonna use sharp, uh, Sharpshooter Sample Center is because on one hand they have pretty decent introductory examples, introductory material, and on the other hand I believe it's uh, it's beneficial for you in general to know that Sample Center exists and to know how it works because uh, so that you can you can kind of flick through it on your own anytime and get the inspiration for your own reports. And the way it works is pretty simple. On the left hand side you see this list of uh, examples. On the right hand side you see the final reports uh, for the example which is selected and that's one on the examples tab and on the description tab you will see a list of steps that you'll need to complete to get the reports that you see on the examples tab. Uh, so that's basically how it works and let's start from the simple one, from the most simple one probably, which is the least report. Uh, when one might argue that the most simple report is uh, the empty report, but uh, after the empty report uh, probably the list is the most simple one. So we have a list of customers here. Each customer is basically a tuple of company name, address, contact name and phone number. And uh, let's see how it works. So if I want to implement it myself, what should I do? I go to the description tab and I see that the following example demonstrates how to create report with wizard help. That's great. We'll use wizard here. And uh, let's create new template. And well, this screenshot down there is a screenshot from uh, Sharpshooter Report Designer application. And Report Designer is a um, an app where you can basically design your report. So let's kick off this one. Let's open up Report Designer. I have already opened this one in advance and uh, there is no report yet because uh, to create a new report we have to go to File and hit this new item or hit Ctrl N and that's exactly what we do and then we select Standard Reports in the same way as suggested on the description tab in our example center example. So we hit OK and we come up with a standard wizard. Uh, let's get back for a second to the example center and see what should we do next. So uh, here we go, we, we created the one with uh, Ctrl N and we selected standard report wizard and we were presented uh, with this page where it's basically the common settings for a page uh, for a report sorry uh, so that uh, here we can define page size and or page orientation and uh, report title all those common things and then what they basically do they hit this plus hit this plus button and uh, they come up with this customers page a second page uh, where they select data source, it's customers. Uh, just in case it's difficult to read for you, it indeed reads customer. And here is all fields section uh, where you can see all the fields that form the customer's tuple in, uh, in the data source. So let's do the same. Let's get back to report designer and select and create another page and select a data source for it. And uh, here we go. We hit the plus and uh, here is this data section and here is this data source so uh, presumably I should select customers from here so let's do that. Uh, I hit the button and well it's none and uh, there is actually no way to create a data source from here you can only select a data source from existing list and there is no customers list so basically we cannot use standard wizard here and we cannot use report designer if we want to complete if we decided that we that all the steps that are listed here will be enough to 
get the final result. It's not true. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we cannot uh, say that it's a complete list. And uh, that's very frustrating because actually those steps are correct. They are indeed correct, but uh, they imply certain things that are not listed here. They imply that you already have a data source defined for you, uh, created in Visual Studio before you start Report Designer. And uh, well, that's kind of a, there is a bigger problem probably or a bigger idea behind all that uh, that uh, and that idea is that sharpshooter is built with certain implicit workflow in mind and this implicit workflow uh, I, I find it I personally find it a bit counterintuitive because it's not mandatory but uh, nevertheless they have this implicit workflow and let me let me find you uh, what I'm talking let, let me show you what I'm talking about so uh, the implicit workflow is that developers come in and they create data sources in Visual Studio and they feed up Sharpshooter and only after that designers come in and design the reports. And uh, again, it's it's a workflow that uh, that is implied, but it's not necessarily you not necessarily have to do it that way. You can, uh, in principle, start with report designer. Uh, without e even touching Visual Studio and I will show you the way to do that but in general uh, when you read the Sharpshooter documentation or when you go through um, through different examples it uh, ship, gets shipped with Sharpshooter or maybe some examples on the web uh, you very often you will find out that uh, they have this implicit workflow in mind as well that everything starts in Visual Studio and then goes through sharpshooter to report designer so let me get back let me get back to sample center so we have this list and I don't want to spend much time on that let's move on let's look at the multi column example so here we have the same pretty much the same example we have customers list but our data set is a bit more narrow it's just two columns company name and phone number so we we have plenty of space here and we just display those uh, displays at least in two columns uh, you can have any number of columns uh, you like but the main idea here is that you have one data source a single data source and this data source is displayed into uh, it gets mapped into several columns on the UI and now let me show you a kind of similar example uh, which is called side by side and uh, here we have suppliers report and on the left hand side you have uh, customers or suppliers some companies with contact names and addresses again company name contact name so that's one data source and on the right hand side you see an un unrelated data source some a list of products it's it in this example it's a product that uh, get supplied by this customer it not necessarily have to be like that uh, so basically the idea here is that you have the same multi column you can have two columns on one page but in this side by side scenario uh, those columns get data from different data sources while in multi column example you are getting data from the same data source so uh, that's probably it for uh, multi-column stuff and let's move on and see uh, what we can do with without bands reports and uh, here is an example this top section is not part of the report it's just uh, basically a table where I can select a line and uh, the data you, you select it gets presented in the uh, in the report down there let me select it again um, it looks like it hung. Yeah, it's working. So, um, what's without band, you might ask? Uh, if we have a report without band, then we probably also can have a report with band. So, what all this means? And that's uh, indeed a great question. Thank you very much for asking, and uh, I will answer that in just a second. 
To answer the question, I need to resort to this design template button. And uh, this design template is a button that you have on all those examples on multi-column, on list, everywhere you will have design template button next to all those fancy buttons. And this button will open up Report Designer, again the same application that uh, we uh, were opening with this list example when we are t were trying to follow the steps on the description tab. But in this case, in the case when you click Design Template, it will open up Report Designer with the template for the report that you have have selected. So let me click Design Template and uh, we have this without bands report selected so I presumably expect that uh, I will see Report Designer with a template for for this without bands. So let's see. It should get open in just a second. Okay, great stuff. We have that open. Let me let me shrink it a little bit and display it right here. Okay, so here is this uh, without bands report. And uh, the first part of the question with bands and without bands. Uh, let me show you, let me go to the insert tab on the on the this on this ribbon toolbar and uh, here you see all the components on the all the user controls that can be used in sharpshooter and in general they all can be divided into two big parts one is visual components and another is containers and visual components all text boxes and pictures and charts all the stuff that is visible on the page and containers are well, containers for those visual components and data band, group band, all those, all those bands are indeed just containers for visual components, and uh, they are used when you need to uh, to display lists of data. But without bands, a report does not use bands. It is basically just a bunch of text boxes, as you can see here. Some text boxes have. Uh, plain text there like contact name or address or phone fax and some of them have some this cryptic get data and then customer company name and probably get data customer adder plus comma and so on and that is uh, th this in this way you basically retrieve the data from the data source that's uh, get data a method is a way to tell sharpshooters that I need data from from my customer data source, for example, and that should correspond to company name uh, column in the data source. And that's exactly it. And the use case for such without bands reports is, is probably some summary pages. Uh, so if you have some complicated long report with a bunch of different lists and so on and probably you might want to have a summary page which is the first page and it will have just some numbers that our total uh, assets under management is this number or our uh, PNL is broken by accounts in this way and in the next pages you will have more more detailed uh, more detailed data so without bands is pretty simple and it's just text boxes and uh, if you want to present text you just type in text and if you want to get data from your data source you write this get data and then uh, data source name dot uh, name of the column is this data source so let me close this one uh, and I'm gonna move to more complicated examples which is grouping.